Okay, all right, here we are. Dancer from Dancers Collectibles. Um, one of my favorite things to do is, of course, to uh, fill. Um, fill in albums. As you remember, I just picked up these, this Morgan, and the other Morgan um, album out there from Widom. And as you remember, this first book, the, the second book is sealed. And the first book, um, we put in our massive collection as to what we had before and now, which is just the 1904 uh, New Orleans um, Morgan Dollar. So you, if you also have been watching videos, you saw that I came across a nice, solid coin hoard with a lot of different coins in it. Uh, pennies, um, half dollars, dollars, whatnot, and I was able to make some of those acquisitions out of that hoard. And uh, I'm going to kind of show you what we're, we've got. We're going to fill in some of these uh, silver dollars. And as I look over my notes, I'm reading to you the ones that are not silver dollars. All right, way to go. Way to be prepared for everything. So now I gotta get to my right page. There it is. And here we go. Silver Morgan Dollar album fills. Let's start from the newest to the oldest. Um, the newest one we have. It says 1900. On the other side. Make sure my finger is out of the way. 1900 New Orleans, 1900 oh. Um, all of the uh, Morgan dollars, 90% silver, 10% copper. I mentioned the 1900 New Orleans, 12 million, 590,000. Um, this is, this is an unneeded coin, this 1900 New Orleans, an unneeded coin. Um, it wasn't needed when they were minted, uh, a lot of these went into long-term storage. You can see, wow, this one has really been used, though. Very plentiful, very plentiful to find. Um, were not used in 1900 when they were originally minted. Auction record at uh, Mint State 67 plus, Mint State 67 plus, not, not that high. dollars $9,694. In uh, July of 2017, so only nine thousand six hundred ninety-four dollars for the for the one in the best condition. Um, auction range this past year. E, Mint State. We do it in Mint State 64. That's a that's a nice upper end um, where I would expect you know people if they're really stretching they would they would start around Mint State 64. Um, one hundred to one hundred thirty dollars. So easy to come by, inexpensive. One hundred to one. $130. Second coin into the 1800s. Oh, a little bit wonky there, huh? This is a 1891. This is odd that I keep on coming up and finding these. New Orleans again, 1891-0. Much less mintage than the first one we were looking at. 7,954,529 coins were manufactured. Uh, it says the reputation of having the worst strike of all Morgan dollars in the series. The worst strike. Uh, yeah. yeah, it doesn't look too fantastic to me either. Auction record, Mint State 66. Yeah, here we go, Mint State 66. Worst struck coin of the series, $108,688. So that one coin, wow, must be very, very scarce to have them up in that, that Mint State uh, area. Uh, that was paid on uh, March 21st, 2019. Auction range 
in Min State 64. Again, much different than the than the last one. Seven hundred fifty to nine hundred dollars. So, quite a difference from our nineteen hundred. Okay. Third core coin. 1891. Okay, what's the guess? What's the mint mark guess? Uh, everybody tells me these are more difficult to find. See that? Carson City. 1891 Carson City double C. Um, not the easiest coin to find. Everybody says Carson Cities. Those are the ones, those are the key dates out there. Uh, total mintage, 1,618,000. Way, way lower than, uh, the two New Orleans that you've seen before. Uh, but they are easily available in all grades. Ah, man. Auction record in Mint State 66 plus. 37,000 600 dollars in February 4th 2016 so some some time it's been some time since this really went up in value there at top level auction range again in min state 64 uh, better as you would kind of expect better than the other two coins 1500 to 2760. So quite a bit of a, a little bit of a movement there at the at the Min State 64 level, one thousand five hundred to two thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. Get that one out there. Reverse my notes. Oh, this one's seen some. This one's seen some pocket change time. Eighteen eighty-nine. Oish. Oish. There it is. You got it. Oh, another New Orleans coin. A lot of New Orleans coins. I'm way, I'm way up north of the Mason-Dixon line. I'm surprised I'm seeing so many of these New Orleans coins. Uh, mintage of eleven million eight hundred seventy-five thousand. I got I got nothing on this one. I got no special notes. Nothing whatsoever. Uh, auction record at Mint State sixty-six plus forty-four thousand six hundred fifty dollars. So uh, kind of right in the middle there, right? On May fifteen, May fifteen, May sixteen, two thousand nineteen. So it's been sitting out there for quite some time. Again. Auction range last year, uh, $720 to $1,680. So quite a bit of a movement on this coin between the two ranges. Next coin. Eighteen eighty seven. What do you think it is? Golly. Eighteen eighty seven. Oh, New Orleans again. Another New Orleans coin. Mintage of eleven million. Five hundred fifty thousand. Very common. That's probably why I found it in that hoard. All these coins are fairly common. Auction record. Ah, now we're getting back into the right numbers. Mint State sixty six plus seventy eight thousand dollars. Recently, February twenty seven, twenty twenty two. So recently that, that that broke that. 
the auction range in the last year at Mint State 64. $492 to $575. So a little bit less than I thought it would be. Um, affordable. $492 to $575. And the final coin. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see. In the best condition. 1886. Let's see if we can find anything here. Oh, New Orleans. Ah, uh, we should show this the New Orleans show. We should call this all New Orleans. How the heck did that happen? Except for one Carson City. Oh, holy moly. Uh, mintage of 10 million, 700 and 10,000. So that's, yeah, okay. That sounds like just about uh, what they do around 10 million, 15 million down in New Orleans. Uh, on the notes on this one is, the Minters did a sloppy job from the U.S. Mint as they were grading the different locations. Um, there, it, it appears that as if there was not much pride in the work that they did out of New Orleans, at least from what they all thought up in uh, Washington, D.C. Um, I from what I could tell, it was the most unloved production facility of the of the ones out there. Um, so they just printed up the coins like they wanted to. Auction record, but hey, here we go. Auction record for Mint State 65 plus $235,000. dollars $235,000. $235, Um, June, June 25th, 2015. So again, a little while ago. But a big number, big number there. Uh, auction range. Mint State, 64, $6,900. Oh, that's how I say, okay. Upper range is even more expensive. Uh, Mint State, 64, $6,900. All the way up to uh, $10,800. So there's been quite a move also around the Mid-State 64 range. Um, I'm, I'm guessing this is in somewhere around extra fine condition. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. And voila, voila. My six new additions to uh, the Morgan Dollar albums. Very happy. Very happy. Six of them. I was able to afford six of them. Yay! Uh, and a Dancers Collectibles, as, as we say, um, coins. Uh, point to the three over here because they're really way out there. Coins. Coins. And coins. Coins.